guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this CK1 mascara. It's kind of like a two-in-one. It's really different. It's the first I've heard of its kind. We actually got this last year as our free gift from Ulta. And by we, I don't mean beauty bloggers or vloggers. I am no one important. Just anyone who shopped at Ulta, that was like your birthday gift. <laughs> so, and it's really nice actually to get like an you know, a more expensive mascara. So this is what it looks like. It's really kind of cool looking, just the white and the black, obviously. This is like a matte and CK1 is, you know, Calvin Klein. So just obviously it untwists. And this is what the brush looks like. Here. There is a nice big clump of mascara. Okay. So it's a long wand. It has like these little plastic bristles, but they're more flexible. They're not, they're very short. Let's get close for you guys. They're very short, but they're not um, very hard like the Benefit They're Real. I really, really like the brush itself. I don't have super tiny eyes, um, so it's not too long for me. Now, the cool thing about this brush is here's what it looks like. And then whoop, it kind of just, do you see the difference there? Like it gets really short and chubby. <laughs> so of course I like it. And what I noticed is this, it's really good to coat my lashes, lengthen them, separate them and then I'll go back in with another dip to recoat scrunch it up so it's shorter like that and then I'll go back in and it really helps to like thicken my my lashes and make them look really dense so and like super black obviously black because it's black mascara but still you guys know what I mean um and then if it clumps up a little bit I'll just make it long again and then just run through a few times and it's I'm good to go I'm very skeptical of high-end makeup I expect a lot more at least like three or four times as much um performance and durability long lasting all that kind of stuff i really expect a lot more if i'm going to be spending two three four five times as much for a certain product and one of my favorite mascaras right now is the rimmel accelerator and that is like i think when i got it, it was like four or five bucks um you know so it's just I don't, I'm not going to spend 20 plus dollars if I can get something cheaper that's just as good. This is a really good mascara. It is a wet formulation, so if you don't like wet formulas, either don't get it, or if you like the concept and want to try it out, I would recommend using it and then waiting a couple weeks for it to dry out just a little bit. Um, some people do say you can like open it and kind of like leave it open for a few weeks, but that kind of freaks me out. Um, I've noticed some mascaras, they just, well, most of my mascaras at least, they'll dry out within a couple weeks regardless. Not completely, but kind of, they just become a little bit drier, less wet. This isn't so wet like the Pure Minerals um, that we received. It has like argan oil, and we received that in an Ipsy bag over the summer, and that got all over my eyelid. I think I like showed you guys in videos, like get ready with me and reviews and stuff before, but this didn't transfer to my you know, underneath here, it didn't transfer to my eyelid. It didn't flake. Um, it's not really crunchy when I take it off. It's just normal to come off. I don't think this is waterproof. Um, it doesn't say on here. I don't think it is. Um, but I haven't had any issues with it. And my eyes do get really watery. I've been sneezing a lot. Like those sneezes where you're sneezing like seven times in a row. Um, and this mascara is just really nice. It's really dark. I feel like it gives me length and everything I need and everything I want. So I'm like super impressed by this, like super impressed by this. I actually took out my Benefit They're Real, which I adored in 2013. That was my favorite mascara. And um, I had like a whole bunch of like little samples. So I took that out and yeah, it makes my lashes super long, but not really like thick looking. So I think my preferences have just changed. I want the whole shebang, length, the volume, thickness, everything. Um, and right now this kind of gives me that. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see my lashes. Okay guys, so these are my lashes with the mascara, obviously. I really like it. I don't think they're super crazy long. I have a girlfriend that she puts on any mascara and it looks amazing, but I really like this mascara. I feel like it gives me length, it gives me volume. Um, it does, my eyelashes don't droop, it's not flaking, like I said. This is what the wand looks like, so you can see it's almost the length of my eye. But it's nice because as I'm doing it, it's kind of you know, it just gets right in there and even gets my normal hair. Um, it's really easy to get like those really tiny inner corner lashes and I didn't get it like all over my skin. And then also just to grab the outer ones and then working with the lash line is super easy because it's like that long, um, long brush. Really like it. And then when you make it small, you can see 
how it just tightens up and really will coat your lashes. So I absolutely love the wand. I love that you can get two options. If you don't like one, you always have the other. I just think this mascara is so great. So that's it. I know this was a really quick video, but I really just wanted to show you guys my ideas. I don't do too many reviews, um, like focusing on just one product. Like I'll review my whole Ipsy bag or in my favorites. But if you guys want to see more reviews like this, actually I said this was quick, but who knows? All my videos tend to be like 30 minutes long. Um, if you guys want to see more videos where I'm just reviewing one product, let me know. I know recently one of my subscribers asked me to review... Um, the Urban Decay Tinted Moisturizer, and I didn't even know that was the name of it because I have so much makeup. <laughs> so um, I knew I couldn't film a video anytime soon to post really soon. So I tried it out that weekend. We were emailing, and I kind of just let her know my thoughts on it that way. Um, but if you do want to see more reviews dedicated to one specific item, let me know. And they don't necessarily have to be new items. I'm really trying to be selective as to what I'm purchasing because I do have so much. So doesn't mean I stopped buying stuff. Jen from Glam Moms is a horrible influence, but I'm a horrible influence on her too. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you tried this, comment down below and let me know what you think because everyone, everyone's opinion about a specific mascara is gonna be different depending on what type of lashes you have. Some people's lashes are like straight down and they refuse to curl. Some people, they don't need volume and lift and all this stuff. So let us know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Mwah. Bye.